In this tutorial we will use Isaac Ross Chu Motion to operate a custom robotic arm in Move It, Isaac Sim, and a real robot. Chu Motion provides CUDA accelerated manipulation capabilities for robots in Ross 2. By using Chu Motion we can generate trajectories with shorter amount of time which will enable us to operate the robotic arm with higher frequencies. We will begin by preparing development environment. As a prerequisite, Docker should be installed on your system. So, if the Docker is not installed, please install it following instructions on this page. Now we will continue. Go to the Getting Started page. Open the Developer Environment Setup section. In this tutorial we will use General Laptop Computer, so select on x86-64 Platforms tab. First, we will install NVIDIA Container Toolkit. Configure the Production Repository. Update the Packages list from the repository. Now, Install the NVIDIA Container Toolkit. Next, configure NVIDIA Container Toolkit for Docker. Configure the container runtime by using the NVIDIA CTK command. Restart the Docker daemon. Again, if you get these messages during configuration, it means that Docker is not installed on your system. Restart Docker. Next install Git LFS. Git LFS is an extension for Git that manages large files more efficiently. After installation, create a workspace and write an environmental variable to the bash rc file. Now we are going to set up Chu Motion Move It. In this tutorial, we will use a lot of long commands. To avoid typing each command every time I have prepared a file with all the required commands. So, please download it from the Google Drive and use it. Open the Repositories and Packages section. Open the Isaac Ross Chu Motion section. In the Quick Start section, click on Isaac Ross Chu Motion Move It plugin. Clone the Isaac Ross common package. There are two ways of installation. Installing a pre-built Debian package and building from source. In this tutorial we will build from source to make sure that we are using packages with latest contributions. In this command, only Isaac Ross Chu motion is specified. But this is not enough. We also have to clone Isaac NV blocks as well. This repository contains ROS2 packages for 3D reconstruction and cost maps for navigation. Clone these repositories under the source directory. Then, launch the Docker container using the run dev shell script. When you do it for the first time, building of the Docker container will take a very long time, so be patient. Fetch the latest version of the package list using apt-get update.
and use ROS DEP to install the package's dependencies. Now build the packages. After the build completes, we have to source RAW's workspace. These were the basic procedures to use Chu Motion. Now let's operate a robotic arm. In this tutorial, I expect that viewer has installed ROS 2 Humble, these packages and Isaac Sim 4.5 on a computer. If you have not, please install them. First, we will begin from simulation without using Chu Motion. Move the Chu Motion ARM Sim folder to your home directory. And build it. To start the simulation, we have to launch the demo mod launch Python script. In this script, we have defined ROS2 control hardware type launch argument. By default, it is set to mock components. With this setting, we can do a simulation using only our viz. In case of using Isaac sim, we have to set it to Isaac. This argument is passed to Chu Motion Arm ROS2 control Zacro file through the Chu Motion Arm URDF Zacro file. Here we call the generic system plugin or topic based plugin depending on the parameter. In case of we do simulation using Isaac Sim, the topic based system plugin is called. Note that to use this plugin, we have to install the topic based ROS2 control package. For details, Please see this tutorial. Now let's do the simulation. Run the Isaac Sim. Open Chu Motion Arm Isaac Sim USD file. There are two things that are important to do the simulation successfully. The first is to set articulation root of the arm. The second is to create an action graph and set topic names properly. For a more detailed explanation, please see this tutorial. Start the simulation. Execute the demo mod launch Python script. Specify Isaac as ROS2 control hardware type. Change position of the marker and click the plan and execute button. The arm will move. Now we will execute this simulation using Chu Motion. Move the Chu Motion ARM description package and the Chu Motion ARM Move It config package into the source directory of the Isaac Ross dev package. Launch the Docker container. Build these packages. This time we will use the Chu Motion Arm Launch Python script to run Move It.
In this script, we read the demo mod launch script and override the planning pipeline with Isaac Ross Chu motion. Source the Ross workspace. Execute this script. Launch the Docker container in the second terminal. Source the Ross workspace. Run the Chu Motion Planner node. After warm up completes, we can operate the robotic arm in the Isaac Sim. To use the True Motion Planner node, we have to specify XRDF and URDF files of our robotic arm. URDF file is well known to most of the robotics engineers and we use it often in my videos. But XRDF is probably specific for NVIDIA True Motion related libraries. XRDF specification is explained in this page. So for those who are not familiar with it I recommend to read it. How to create XRDF file is explained in this page. In short, we should open the USD file of our robotic arm. Then do necessary settings using Lula Robotic Description Editor. I explain this process in more detail in this tutorial. So please see it. The difference with this tutorial is that instead of exporting it as Lula Robot Description File, we should export it as True Motion XRDF. One thing to notice is that even though in this page it is said that the tool frame definition is optional, it seems that for True Motion it is essential. Now we will operate a real robotic arm. Since most people will not use this exact arm which I used in this tutorial, I added this section of the video mostly for reference. Let's see how the packages used here are different from those we used previously. First, we have a custom hardware definition. This hardware definition was adopted from another repository in which the same servos were used. Here I will not explain how to define custom hardware. We will look into it in another tutorial. We use this hardware definition in our True Motion Arm ROS2 control Zacro file. Second, Instead of reading settings from yum file, here we write them directly in dictionary format. The result will be the same. This is just a different style of coding. We also modified the run dev shell script. This is because Dynamixel servos are using USB to serial interface but Docker containers are isolated from host devices unless explicitly granted access. This part dynamically detects and attaches the appropriate devices. We also have to install Dynamixel SDK and change permissions in container. After launching the real robotic arm, we can operate it just as we did in the simulation.